of all times to be having a baby. Bethlehem was chaotic. I barely made it in time. We were in the streets, my husband and I, trying to fulfill our obligation of registering for the census. But it was getting dark, and the census takers told us we would have to come back tomorrow. On our way back home, a young boy ran up to me very excited. I knew him. His family was from the village. My husband and his father would go fishing together. It was young Simon, so out of breath he could barely talk. He told me there was a young woman near the edge of town who was ready to have a baby, and she was crying in pain. So I hurried to get my birthing instruments, and Simon led me to an inn near the edge of town. I couldn't believe it. She wasn't in the inn, in a room as I'd expected. No, she was in a stable with sheep and cows lying on the floor that was covered with straw. What is your name? I asked. Mary, she said, as she winced and curled up in pain. And that is my husband, Joseph. She nodded toward a helpless looking, stunned man. This is no place to be giving birth, I said, but I will help you get through this. I grabbed a milking stool that was nearby and told her to turn over onto her knees and rest her elbows and arms on the stool. Mary crouched over the stool and cried out, Oh, Joseph! Joseph's eyes were wide. I said to him, There's a thyme bush just outside to the south of the stable. Go cut a big branch of it and bring it back. Thyme is an antiseptic herb that we would use to line the baby's bed. Mary let out a howl. Joseph stood paralyzed. Go! Joseph, go now! Finally, he snapped out of his comatose state, turned and was gone. I looked around. Where would we lay the child? Well, there certainly was no cradle. Mary let out a shriek. The baby was coming. Rock against the stool, Mary, I said. Mary groaned. Okay, now, push, 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 push. Okay, now breathe. Now push really hard on the next pane. Oh, good girl, I see the head. Joseph returned with the time, just as I was washing the baby. You have a little boy, I told him. He nodded, relieved. Mary was lying back on the straw now, exhausted but radiant. He knelt down beside her, stroking her damp forehead. Mary asked Joseph to hand her a bag that was on a heap of clean straw, and she brought out some white linen cloths to wrap the infant. Well, I handed the baby to his mother and showed her how to swaddle him snugly in the linens. Joseph put some new straw into a manger that would serve as a cradle. I carefully arranged this the thyme sprigs over the straw, and the contented mother lay her contented baby in a manger. You know, I have delivered hundreds of babies, and each time is like the first. It is a wondrous thing. But this baby, born in this way, there was something about it I can't put into words. As I left the stable that night, there was a brilliance in the sky and a comfort swept over me as though all was well with the world.